Understanding passive voice in simple past tense. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our series on mastering English grammar. Today, we are going to focus on an interesting aspect of English, the passive voice in simple past tense. This is a powerful tool that can help you diversify your sentence structures and make your speech or writing more nuanced and interesting. Let's dive in. Before we can discuss the passive voice in the past tense, we need to make sure we understand what passive voice is. In general, sentences in English are composed in the active voice. This means that the subject of the sentence is the one doing the action. For example, John painted the wall. In passive voice, however, the object of the action becomes the subject of the sentence, and the doer of the action is either mentioned at the end of the sentence or sometimes not mentioned at all. For example, the sentence, John painted the wall, in passive voice would be, the wall was painted by John, or just, the wall was painted. Now, let's talk about how to form the passive voice in the simple past tense. To create a passive sentence in the simple past tense, you need the verb, was, or, were, plus the past participle of the main verb. The formula is, singular subject, subject plus was plus past participle, plural subject, subject plus were plus past participle. Let's see it in action. Active, she cooked the meal. Passive, the meal was cooked by her. Active, they played the match. Passive, the match was played by them. There are a few instances when using the passive voice in the past tense can be particularly useful. When the doer is unknown or not important, the window was broken. We don't know or care who broke the window. To focus on the action rather than the doer, the law was passed in 1965. The importance is on the law and when it was passed, not who passed it. Using the passive voice adds variety and sophistication to your English, so don't be afraid to use it. That's it for today's lesson, folks. We hope you now have a better understanding of how to use the passive voice in the simple past tense. Remember, practice makes perfect. Try to use the passive voice in your own sentences and see how it changes the emphasis and focus. Thanks for joining us today. Stay tuned for our next lesson where we continue to demystify English grammar. Happy learning!